Hi, it's Sally, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use themes in PowerPoint. So I'm in PowerPoint 2013, but it should be similar for newer versions of it. So like 2010 and newer, possibly uh, 07. So you have your presentation here, right? But you want it to look kind of fancy, but maybe you're not the most artistic person. Well, the great thing is that PowerPoint puts these themes in for you so you don't actually have a ton of work to do when it comes to design. So I have just my first slide here and so the way that you find these these uh, templates, these themes, is you go up to the design tab up here and then this is all of the current themes that we have. So uh, your screen may not be as wide as mine um, so you can click on this arrow right here, see this arrow? to view all of the current themes. Now you might look at some of these and think, well, you know, I, I like this one, but I would rather have it in a different color. Pretty much all of these, as you can see by these little palettes down here, are available in a ton of different colors. So what you want to focus on right here is just finding something that is going to match the, the theme that you want for this presentation. So I'm just going to just grab one from here. So how about I choose, uh, let's see, we'll just take this one right here. So this has a preloaded theme with a bunch of different layouts. So again, as I mentioned, if you don't like the colors, right over here we have variants. So we have these four options that are showing right here, but if I click on this down arrow, you're going to have all of these different color options. See, I can change the colors and as I hover over each option, it changes my theme. So where this is going to come in really handy is if you already have a bunch of different slides, this is going to help you out in, in coloring them. So if we want to get, you know, really crazy here, we can just scroll through all these different colors here. But as you can see, there's a ton of different options. And I do recommend changing up the colors from the defaults uh, because even though you may not be incredibly skilled in cr putting a design in your presentation, people are going to start to recognize the defaults. So I'm just going to go ahead and just pick this. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? I'm kind of... I'm kind of boring sometimes, so I'm just going to pick grayscale. So click on that. So now you can see that, that this changed. Now when I add a new slide by clicking here or control M, it's going to come in with the next slide. Now if I don't like this layout here, I can change the layout. I can right click and click on layout. And this is going to show me all the different layouts that are available with this theme. Now, Maybe I want to have a title here, but I want to have more text space. So maybe I want this smaller and this larger. So I can adjust this on the screen, but if that's what I'm going to want to do for multiple slides, I'll show you a really easy trick. So we're going to go up to view right here and we're going to click on in master views. We're going to click on slide master. So this is what controls all the different layouts. So by default, when I chose this theme, it automatically imports these designs. So as I was showing you, if perhaps on this slide right here, I just want a smaller title. Maybe I want it centered, so I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to make this larger because I want to have a small title and lots of text. And maybe I can change, you know, if I want to change the font, I can do that. Um, if I want, instead of this getting smaller, I want to just keep it all at, you know, at maybe 18 or whatever, 32, I can do that. So once I'm done here, I'm going to click on the slide master tab right here and I can close this. So as you can see, because I selected that layout for this slide, it automatically adjusts the uh, layout of this slide. So you can do that for all of them. You can create your own custom slides. You can delete layouts that you're not going to use. Uh, but this is just a really easy way to really customize your PowerPoint presentation. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more useful tutorials. Check out my website at sallyu.com and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.